everybody, welcome to the channel and to Blackwell Epiphany. Last time we left off, we just met another ghost who happened to be a really young girl. And I believe there was something new I could... Somewhere, somewhere new I could go maybe? I know I left it off so I could do something. Um, yeah, that's right, the wired abacus. Okay. What is this? So Kendra's dad is the boss of this place? Yes. This is just a bunch of junk. Well... I remember that old cartoon. It must be on DVD now or something. Okay... Union Square is usually filled with people at all hours. Not tonight, though. I wonder if Joey will just, I like, think those are noise-canceling headphones. Things. Okay... Hello, clerk. Hi there. Hi. Can I help you? I... I'm looking for the manager. Yes. Emil Haskins, I think his name is. Haskins. Mr. Haskins? He's not in. Taking time off for personal stuff, I think. I'm not sure when he'll be back. I'm surprised you're open with the weather this bad. Groovy yeah, music. me too. But I only live two blocks away, huh. and I could use the overtime. Eh, overtime's always good. Alright. Thanks. Sure. Joey, I see a door here. I bet this Looks is like you. a controller for a game console. Not sure which one. It looks a bit shaped like an Xbox controller. Joey. Oh, Joey, you've got a blow on everyone. Damn it. Did the AC kick on again? I'm gonna freeze to death in here. Alright, you can go in the store now. <laughs> Stop harassing this poor young man. <laughs> oh, groovy screensaver. Ledgers. I couldn't open. Right, a bunch of right ledgers click. stacked up against the wall. Interesting reading for some people, but not to me. What's this? A bunch of discarded papers. Some of these. I've made, is it right click that A bunch of discarded them? papers. Okay. Well. A bunch of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. It's interesting you would label them. If it's every weekend, would you not just remember that you were meeting your daughter? I clicked on the oh hey. The tag has Leah Piero's address on it. Best guess, it's the key to her house. Looks like an internal memo, some kind of technical stuff. It's all Greek to me. It says call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. Moose? Moose. <laughs> That's really funny. I don't know much about these moose oh. things, but I've seen Red use them often enough. <laughs> it's because he doesn't know what it's called. That's really funny. I thought it was a typo. That's way funnier that he just doesn't know. <laughs> All I can really do is look at I it. I did mean to have you look Some at it. Some kind of animation is playing. I think Red calls this a screen saver. I Whatever love... it is, I'm glad I don't have a stomach anymore. I love Joey. It's a phone or some variation thereof. <sighs> it's a trash can. Pretty but, typical as these things I go. I mean, there might have been a note in it. Boxes of office junk. Don't know what's inside. Stick your head in it. Someone wrote quarterly earnings on the cover. Okay. The light barely pierces the gloom. Boxes of okay. Don't know what I can... Can't do Stick your head! I'm not going... Yeah, okay, fine. Um... Can I blow the key off? That would just push it onto the floor. And out to... I'm not just gonna blow on everything I see. Yeah, but it would blow it out to... Well, maybe. What about this one? I'm not just gonna blow... I mean, you do blow on weird random things. So, sometimes you let me, sometimes you don't. That's way too heavy for... Okay. A bunch of meetings and a... Okay. Fine. I don't know what I was supposed to accomplish in here. Hmm. Locked. Of course. There's a new model already? Figures. <laughs> the moose thing still makes me laugh. Alright. Oop, no, I, I meant to click on Joe. Is there a way to unlock? It's the way out of here. Um... I can't... Looks like an internal... It says... I have no idea who that... The tag has Leah Piero's Leah address on it. Pierre. Best guess, it's that the key to her house. the house we were just at, right? Because <coughs> she had a tag, a key tag, in her place that said call... Uh, that had someone's name on it, right? Or was that her name? 
Hmm. Is there anything else you can Hi tell again. me? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Is there a way I can get into the manager's office? Um, did he give you permission to go in there? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. Oh, then he should have given you the code. Code? Yeah, for the keypad next to the door. You wouldn't know what the code to the door is. No, nobody ever told it to me. Sorry. Are you sure? You I told- Sorry, I did not- Thanks, to sure. Again. So, Joey must be able to tell me what the code is. Somewhere. Wait, I don't even know if it's a number code or... Hey, come and try this. Locked. I don't even know if I'm looking for- The it. sign says Emil Haskins, manager. Relax, I'm here. That's not... Not here. I learned that- That's not like it's not very obvious or anything. Okay, let's try this again. Um... If there was a code... It says, call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. Joe... The tag has Leah Piero's address on it. Best... <laughs> Looks like an... In right. <laughs> um. Hmm. Nothing in there. It's a trash. Okay. Well, sometimes. I guess there's nothing stopping me from doing that, except for my nearly complete lack of physical existence. All right. Well, then. We'll have to find a code. What is this envelope? Oh, the wired abacus. That's right. Okay. It. It's a handwritten note from George. Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. Didn't need to read that. Do we know a Joe? Leah Piero. Joe. Maybe, should we try like Joe Haskins? Um, oops. I was thinking maybe his brother or something. What about Joe Piero? Okay. Should we go back to Kendra, I guess? I'm really glad you can leave and Joey will just follow, you know? It was annoying to try and get them into the same place. I know I knew, right? George's place, PlayStation, Grace Church, Leah Piero. Alright, Joey, let's go in. I feel like we should have been able to learn more there about... Was on this. There's only one key on the Emil. key rack. The label on it says Emil. Right. We don't know who Emil. Oh wait. What was the guy's name? Was it Emil Haskins that we just went to? Oh, it was. Derp. Okay. So we need to know who Joe is. And you can't get in. Somehow I need to get that key, but Joey wouldn't blow it onto the floor. He just said it would fall onto the floor, which is what I wanted. Because he's been able to blow keys before. So it's annoying because I feel like there's some other part of the puzzle. But I've done puzzles exactly like this before. Can I blow this off? I'm not just gonna... I'm not just... <sighs> Alright, well... I'll see if I can find something. I'll be back, I'll be back when I find something. Okay, I had to look it up because this is not something I ever would have thought to do. Because Joey doesn't know what a moose is, or a mouse, but you're supposed to blow on the mouse to wake up the computer. But seeing as Joey won't blow on other things that seem to make sense, like these set of keys, I thought it was weird. I didn't, I didn't even think huh, to do this. Whatever I did, it worked. Look, you know, it woke up the screen. All I can really do- I meant to right click. Exeter house, okay. Uh, are you going to let What me? a surprise! Nothing happens! I wanted you to say something. Okay, so... It's also annoying he doesn't say anything. I have to go to Rosa, and now I have to look up Exeter House. Yeah, it's- because before, Joey used to... They used to, like, communicate somehow. This time it just feels like some weird mental connection, or, like, 
Metagaming even. Is it raining? Oh, stop. Weather. Ugh. It's a good excuse to stay inside and play games, so. All right, City Post Real Estate, Exeter House, 265 Avenue A. Impeccably maintained, full service, pet friendly co-op building, a prime village location. Building allow co-signers, guarantors, and Pied a terrace? I do not know what that is. I have new email. Uh, this one? Nashanti! Hello! From the Kerala Backwaters. I thought it said Blackwater, which I thought is what this game was called, and then I realized it's Blackwell. I'm very tired. <laughs> Hello from the Kerala Backwaters. It is hot here, but at least there are lots of cool lakes. Good thing Modi can swim. How's the weather in New York? Hope you're keeping warm. I know I am. I have no idea where that is. Can I please reply to Nishanti? Um, did I get a new location with the Exeter House? I think I did. Okay, let's away go to the Exeter House. Ooh, this coffee's strong. I have no keys here either, though. I don't know what good it's going to do me because someone won't blow keys off the desk. It's frosted on the inside. I can't see through. So bitter. It says Exeter House. Okay. Buzzer. Here he is, Emil Haskins. Perfect. Hello? Hi, is this Emil? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to ask you some questions. You mean there's been progress? I'm... I'm not sure. I'm just trying to learn what happened. You're not with the police? No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. They won't talk to me either. Come on up. So you know your daughter? Rosangela still? Blackwell, was it? Yeah. Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So, you said you're trying to learn what happened? What exactly do you know? Um, I just realized this has fallen again. You can kind of see this. Oh, that's not how physics works. This, like, kind of triangle thing here. Um, it used to be up against the wall. Where's my finger? It used to be up here. It's like the line for the internet. It used to be taped to that other power cable like casing I guess it keeps falling off no matter what I stick on it so it's just kind of resting against this little thing um anyway I, I could just see it in the back it was driving me crazy I stuck it up so many times it fell over earlier today as well I stopped sticking it up because it just wakes me up in the night when it like pulls off and falls over anyway back to the game something happened to Leah Kendra's dead I don't know what he knows I know that something happened to Leah. Is that all you know? Yeah, I'm afraid so. I mean, I know Kendra- She's been missing for weeks, that's what happened. Big shot police detective, poof, gone. Then, our daughter. So yeah, something happened. And nobody seems to be able to find out what. I know that Kendra is dead, I'm sorry. What? No, we don't know that. Oh. Nobody See? knows that, not yet. That's why I didn't Someone want to say anything. her and she's missing, not dead. I, uh, of course, uh, I'm sorry. The police might have given up on her, but I haven't. She's out there, somewhere. I know it. George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You, you don't know? George? No, of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? Ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did Oh, that that's right. George was, was shot. Shot? Jesus. I can't say I liked the guy. Leah dumped me for him after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. Oh. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Yeah. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? Well, I don't know. know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. I hope not. If it did, I'll never forgive her. You work at the Wired You Abacus? work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on the shoebox apartment, at least. How well did you know George Austin? Just ask him every Leah's the one who knew him. They've been friends for years. She talked about him sometimes. What did she say? 
Well, that's the thing. I got the impression he was kind of a loser. A loser? No career, living with his parents, that yeah. kind of thing. She felt bad for him. But then we get divorced and he turns up wearing designer suits and living in a penthouse. Yeah. I'm living in this shoebox. Are you familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. Hmm. What did you do when Leah disappeared? Got grilled by the cops for three days. Even though there was no way I could have done it. I was at work and... I don't know if you've been to that store, but it's got cameras everywhere. Oh, yeah. But I just stood by and took the abuse, just on the off chance I would say something that could help them. Obviously, I didn't. Mm -hmm. How did you find out Kendra was missing? Her school called. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. Hmm. They thought she was with me. I wish she was. Interesting. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Is it relevant? Well, it could be. Hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late 90s. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. Yeah, that's gotta be tough. All right, well. Well, I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah, sure. See ya. Can I click around your hey, room? Wait, why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? There's much more at stake. Maybe. I, I don't care about the big picture. Can you help her or not? I hope so. Yes. It's what I do. That audio quality got weird there. It sounded really fuzzy. Poor guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. Yeah. It never gets easier. I can just walk around. Oh, no, wait. Oh, it's just exit both ways. Okay. Let's go. Uh... Joey, I'd like to talk to you. You rang? I don't know what to do next. I wonder if there's anything inside Emil's apartment oh, that can help derp. us. Oh, derp. Of course. Can't to look around. I keep forgetting that when stuff pops out like that. Didn't expect anything else, I can really. I with Joey. Derp, 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 derp. Hello? Hi. Sure. I'm just going to skip through all this. <laughs> he buzzed me in. I'm just not going to go in. It's fine, Emil. Don't worry. I just need your passwords. He's not even here. Some kind of oil painting, I think. I can't tell what it's supposed to be. He's not congested, Joey. That thing needs a date with a needle and thread. Or a fireplace. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. This flower is super dead. <laughs> I didn't realize what it was. I thought it was like a giant, like, head of garlic. Aww. 1029. I guess that's the date the picture was taken. Remember that? It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. Yeah. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. Leah's a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. I 10, guess that- 1029. 1029. To the back room. I guess so. It's just Emil is in here. Lying on the bed and staring at the ceiling. Oh, buddy, that's I should just so leave him alone. sad. Okay, ten twenty nine is what we needed. He buzzed me in, though. It's weird that he would be in his room. Okay. It didn't even write like add it to my notes or anything, which I think is a bit weird, but. 1029. I guess we can get into his office now, and then we can get the key. That's... Okay, perfect. Yo, I'm back. I'm here with cold. Locked. Of course. Yo, but... The I... sign says... Yeah, but you... But I thought there was a key... Oh! That was not obvious, sorry. To me, I'm just blind. Let me take that. Of Oops. I just accidentally right clicked. I'd better leave them here. Are you sure? Huh. Another my phone upgrade is coming my out in six phone. months. Didn't one just come out last week? Sounds about right. I don't see why I'd need that note. It says call Joe. It says call Joe. Is that not important? Who is Joe? I can check your email. Great. Uh, 
Let's come up here. Leah might be just a police officer, but she has a secure and stable home. You do not. Your promotion to manager of the new abacus is a good first step. Keep at it for a few more years, then we can talk about getting more custody. J. Ledger, M.R.Y. Law. You sure about this online game, Trollgate or whatever it's called? Do I have to tell you about all the creeps that hang out online? Oh, this is too Leah. Le Leah. Uh, probably about Kendra. She's determined to play the theme on the piano, so at least there's that. Perhaps it's harmless. You know more about this stuff than I do. Just make sure she doesn't do anything stupid, okay? Emil, got a new shipment of the parental eye software coming your way. Could you try to upsell it? Maybe you too overly paranoid NYU parents? The boss is desperate to get rid of the stuff. Bark it down to whatever you want. There's <laughs> Tomo again. Tomo's gonna be the big bad at the end of this, I swear. Emil, I got a copy of that parental eye software you recommended, and I installed it on Kendra's computer, and now my computer and yours can read her email. Oh. You just need to install it on your office computer and your own business. Emil, sigh. Maybe you're right. This is a huge breach of trust, and she'd kill me if she found out. She's a smart kid. I'm sure she can handle cyberspace. In this respect, she's more your daughter than mine. Install it if you want, but I'm out. Abacus Admin. No, I have no idea who Tomo is. You suppose, you're supposed to be in charge. If you can't control your own office spam, maybe we should get someone who can. Huge favorite ask. Can you pick up Kendra a bit early tonight? George and I have theater tickets and the show starts earlier than we thought. Fine, we'll drop her off at the Abacus. It's only heavy midtown traffic and 40 blocks out of our way. We're still on two today. I'm not sure I can get away early. Can you drop her off here? I mean, you did ask about tonight, so that is your own fault. Kendra. I got it! I can play the tune from Trollgate. No sheet music or anything. I'll play for you this weekend. Mm -hmm. I have to- I understand the frustration, Mr. Haskins, but I have to ask you to stop phoning our office. Sam Durkin. We're just as concerned with finding Officer Piero and Kendra as you are. This is our job. As soon as we know anything, you'll be the first to know. I know we don't see eye to eye, but what kind of monster do you take me for? I have nothing to do with whatever happened to Leah, and I would never harm that little, little girl. I assume it's fear and frustration and possibly alcohol talking, and leave it at that. Interesting. Cool. I will use the mouse when I need to. I don't need to use Emil's phone. I've got my own. But I was hoping there'd be like a, I don't need a to use hotkey some... for George. You know how back in the day they used to be able to program stuff in? I can see a bit of Union Square, but not much else. Speed dial, that's what it's called. It will take for- It looks like this office is also used as a storage room. Emil's calendar is full of various meetings, appointments, and due dates. Okay, that's the same thing that Joey Piles said. of discarded papers. Alright, we got the key. Let's go talk to Kendra. Oh, the coffee's so bitter. And now we have a key for Emil. That did it. It's about time. I'm freezing out here. <laughs> that little snowman's so cute. Whoever made this snowman made it a long time ago. Several weeks, at least. The mailbox is a bit iced open. Oh, can I open it? There's nothing else in the oh, mailbox. Oh, I, I, I took that. That's right. I took the envelope out. That's right. Okay, shut that. Shut. Take. Take. And it's not from the cold. Oh, good. You feel it too. I was worried it was just me. Take. What is it? Take key. I don't know. Nothing nice. That's for sure. I thought you were gonna let me take the key. Take. Thank you. Just some linens and old chinaware. Nothing relevant that I can see. Okay. Was this picture creepy? I can't remember. It says KK the troll. Right. I'm not that hungry. I just wanted to like remember there was that thing Kendra said like something. I'm not here to rob the place. Something something. And besides, you can buy Manhattan skyline photographs at any tourist stand. Like she asked us a question, we didn't answer it. Okay, let's go out here first. It seems to be in perfect working order. I wonder why all the lights are off. It looks like a fuse box. It's in much better shape than the last one I saw. Mm. A bare light bulb in one of those plastic cages that builders use. A plastic Christmas tree. There's a lot of dust on it. Was it even used last December? I didn't use my Christmas tree. I have a small Christmas tree. 
We didn't use it this year because we went to Vietnam. I love to set it up though. I love like that ambient light. Should we go upstairs? It's upstairs. I'm kind of concerned about upstairs. Just a sparse and empty bedroom. I don't think there's anything useful okay. up here. Okay. Well, as long as it's not dead bodies. I already fine. have a phone. Looks like a cordless phone. What is this? I'm not here to. I, it doesn't go with my wall. I just want no to signature on the painting. Look at it. Probably done by a relative or I something. I can't tell because it looks creepy. Oh. Huh. The lights don't work. Hmm. Joey's not even bobbing up and down. Didn't he use to bob? It looks kind of creepy just floating. Yo, Kendra. I'm not here to steal Kendra's I things. I just want you to look, because it's dark. It's a Valentine's Day card. It says, for a special daughter. There's very few times... It's very sweet. There's very few times I actually want you to steal things. <laughs> Kendra, hello. Hi. Kendra? Uh-huh. I'm looking for your mother. Is she around? She's here. Somewhere. I need to practice. You look so creepy. No, I'm not done talking. Hi. Kendra. Ugh. I'm a friend of Joey. Oh yeah. Uh, is he around? He always is. Okay. Tell him hi. I have to practice now. You look much less creepy when you're- Joey, you where are you? Uh-huh. Why are you both uh-huh? Kendra. Hi. Ugh. I'm sorry about your parents, Kendra. I grew up without any family at all. I kind of know what it's like. Yeah, um, I really should practice now. <sighs> Hi. Ugh. If you're willing to talk to Joey, you can talk to me as well. We're friends. Um, I really need to practice. Sorry. Hey, Kendra? Sorry to bother you again, but I have something I want to ask you. Well, okay. I'm looking for Leah, your mother. Any idea where she could be? She should be here. I'd know if she wasn't. So that's... Is she actually here? <laughs> what about your dad? Is he around? No, he's late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. Tell me about yourself, Kendra. Dunno. Do you ever go to Grace Church? No, but Mom mm -hmm. does. She does? She used to go a lot. Not anymore, though. Do you know George Austin? You mean Mom's... friend? Yeah. He's okay. Mom likes him. But you don't. Dunno. Listen, I really think you need to come with me. Um, why? I gotta go see your dad. Look, your dad really wants to see you. I'm here to take you to him. What should I have for breakfast? That's, that's it. It's way too late for breakfast. How about dinner or lunch instead? Mm, I have to practice. <laughs> Cute, but uh, I don't know the first thing about dollhouses. That's okay. Neither do I. None of my dolls fit in there anyway. Interesting. So when Joey comments on stuff, she's... She's left this shirt in the middle of the floor. I guess she won't be picking it up. Oh, well, okay. I thought she was going to comment on this. It's a stuffed globe of the earth. That bear looks like it's been sat on more than played with. It's his fault if he doesn't get out of the way. I don't know much about these computer things, but it looks powered down. Oh, can Rosa turn it on? Hmm. It's not turning on. Power's been out. Sorry. Interesting. Okay, so she did respond to Rosa as well. Power's out, but the phone looks like it's okay. Is there- I think Oops. it leads down to the basement. <laughs> the fridge running? <coughs> hmm. I just don't know what else- Oh, what? A child's broken bicycle. I mean, if this is working, I don't know what else to it do. It seems to be in perfect working order. I wonder why all the lights are off. 
It's just a shell. Th like I need any more junk on my. I like I need any. I don't want you to pick an up. For a sp I don't want you to pick up. Stuff. Air freshener and bug spray. Tell me about it or look at it. Hmm. Joey, come in here for a sec. You bellowed. <laughs> I just don't know what else to do. Oh wait, we have a key now. To the label on the key reads a meal. But to where? Not to his apartment, right? There's nothing on the key rack now. It's creepy how she says, like, oh, my mom's here. I would know if she wasn't. It makes me think that her body is, her dead body is just stuffed somewhere. All uh, right. Well, can I go around the back of the house? Is there like a generator? It's hard to see inside, but it looks like a little girl's room. It's hard to see inside, but I think I can see living room furniture. All right, shall we try going to... Emile's Exeter house? We have the key, but I don't know what for. It fits. Oh. Oh. No response. Interesting. So I, I just can't talk to him anymore. Okay, I... Oh, there you are. Hi. Look at him. Poor guy. Ah, uh, I... I'm gonna blow on him. No reaction. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. What should Leah have, or uh, Kendra have for breakfast? That came from my left ear, and this guy is clearly sitting on the right side of the screen. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. You sound so congested. A phone. Some kind of oil painting. I. Okay, can. Oh, can I get Rosa to come in then? I don't want to barge in on a meal. I don't need another restraining order. <laughs> another? Well... The front door. No response. Hmm. It's the way out of here. I'm not just gonna blow I I on everything I see. Blow the jacket off and then we could... It's just a bedroom. Empty of any furniture except a T tiny take bed. Take it to K Kendra? I don't know. I don't know. I know, you're very tired. Okay, so this is the key to his place, but what good does that do me if I could get in before? The lights are off. Let's call Sam. I don't know what else There's to do. There's no answer. Good. Great. Is there anything else to do here? It's a handwritten note. Oh, that's right. Oh, I don't know what else to do. Alright, I might have to end this one here because it's I've been recording about 40 minutes and I am stuck. Oh, I have to leave for work soon. I'm always recording before work now lately. Oh, gate? The gate is locked. Well, I have a key. This key unlocks the door to Emile's apartment. Nothing else. What about this key? This key won't unlock it. Okay. That. Hey, Joey. Face through that, would you? There's nothing in that alley worth looking at. Okay, well. I'm out of ideas again. <laughs> uh, I'll leave this episode here. Uh, sorry I haven't been able to record anything else lately. Longer episodes are just kind of out of my time constraints. Is that how you English? Sure. I just don't have enough time to record longer episodes of anything. Like, I really want to play more Abduction, but it requires me, it just requires too much time. Like, I need a controller, I need to have two different recording things going on, because otherwise it freezes up. So, I just, yeah, hope, hopefully maybe this weekend. Uh, my boyfriend's away on a ski trip for work, so maybe I'll have time to do a longer episode of something like that. If you guys have anything, any any ideas of what to do here, please let me know. No, blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. 
If you guys have any ideas of what to do, please let me know down below, as well as any questions or comments. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, bye.